I want to discuss what happened in chapter 236 of Jujutsu Kasan, the possible end of the fight of Sukuna versus Gojo. Welcome back, this is Jack. This video contains obvious spoilers. If you've watched to this point, I'm going to assume you don't care. For those who are out of the loop, it appears that Satoru God Gojo has died again. Because several times throughout this fight already, we have seen scenarios where it looks like he's dead with his throat slit and yada 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 yada. And he always healed himself with a verse curse technique. Now that's an important detail to remember. In this one, we see him cut physically in half and we see him talking to already dead people like Nanamo. Is it possible he comes back from this? I see at least three scenarios that can bring him back. One, yes, he can in theory use reverse curse technique to do it, although it is being reported that he did burn out his ability to do that for a good stretch of time because it's powered in the brain. Two, he may come back as a cursed spirit because that does happen to jujitsu sorcerers. Because during his conversation with Nanamo, he, Nanamo mentions that all the people who've moved on go south, others go north to change. He didn't go south, so he may come back as a cursed spirit, which does build into the problem that Pseudo Ghetto might show up and go, Hey, Sukuna, hey, Gojo, you're now cursed spirits and now under my control. That could be a scary thought. And number three, some people are suggesting he could sacrifice his six eyes to come back. I don't entirely know how that would work out, I'm going to be honest. There may be some detail I'm missing because I haven't heard of somebody doing something like that, but it is a possibility I wanted to bring up. I'm more inclined to lead towards number two happening because that brings the situation of Pseudo Ghetto even scarier because I'd been believing up to this point he was going to capture Sukuna, and in this scenario I might leave it to where he captures both. Hey, editing Jack here. During the editing of this video, a fourth possible scenario, kind of like the second one, popped into my head, and it's where he possesses Itadori, basically becoming the battery for Itadori's cursed energy like Sukuna had been, except for now he's going to start developing the six eyes and his own limitless powers. Will that actually work? No idea, but that's just an idea that occurred to me during editing, and it would give Itadori the power up he needs to be the hero of the story like we're kind of expecting him to be. Anyway, back to uh, previous Jack. Do you have an opinion about what happened? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? Or do you think I have weird hair? I don't care. There's a comment section. Go ahead and hit that. And the subscribe button if you don't mind.